OK, how small will Sirius B have to be to give the, such a low luminosity? The luminosity is 1 over 1000 that of Sirius A, so that's luminosity of B over A equals 1 over 1000, despite its high temperature. Well, the luminosity of an object is proportional to its surface area times temperature to the fourth power. That's the Stefan Boltzmann equation. But the area, the surface area of something, is just proportional to its radius squared. It's 4 pi r squared, the surface area of a sphere. So know that luminosity is proportional to r squared t to the fourth. So uh, luminosity b over luminosity a, which is equal to 1 over 1000, is going to be equal to r b squared t b to the fourth over r a squared t a to the fourth. So it's just using this. It's proportional to, not equals to, but the constant will be the same in both cases, so you can divide the two luminosities, the constant will cancel out, and you get the ratio of the radii and the ratio of the temperatures. Now, what do we know here? Well, we know the two temperatures. Uh, we know the temperature of B is 25,000 Kelvin, whereas temperature of A is about 10,000 Kelvin. We know the radius of A, which is 1.2 by 10 to the 9 meters. So let's rearrange this. To, what we don't know is the radius of Sirius B, so let's rearrange it. So we have that RB squared equals LB over LA RA squared T A to the fourth all over T B to the fourth. Take the square root and we end up with R B equals R A times the square root of the luminosity ratio times the ratio of the temperatures squared. Now we can substitute the numbers in. So we know RA, we know the two temperatures, and we know the ratio of the luminosities, and this comes out as about 6 by 10 to the 6 meters, which is 6,000 kilometers. Which is actually not star size, that's smaller than the Earth. The radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometers. So we're talking about something with the mass of the Sun in a smaller size than the Earth.